Hey guys, Jeff Graham from Jeff Graham Photography here, and today we're going to compare a DSLR with an ND filter to the iPhone 10. We're going to shoot some waterfalls. So it's late afternoon here in Rutledge Falls, and I've got the new iPhone 10 set up. One of the things that first stood out to me about the new iPhone 10 was that with live photos, a new feature that's kind of buried in there is something called long exposure. That's something that really grabbed me at the keynote because that's something I do with my DSLR all the time where I have a long shutter speed. And, and basically what that does is that can allow you to blur motion and create a soft, ethereal, dreamy effect or what have you. Uh, and apparently this can simulate that with software. Now, what it's doing is a little bit of trickery. You have to have live photos enabled. And this little guy here, that's the live photo mode. We want to make sure we enable live photo. Uh, and basically what it does is I think is it takes the movement in that little short video clip, it takes the things that are static and the things that are moving and it blurs the things that are moving. And it basically does a pretty good job of replicating this effect. Is it as good as the DSLR? Let's find out. Now, I have this mounted on a little tripod. You don't have to do that, but you do want to hold it as still as possible because any movement will really mess up this effect. You have to have the camera still just like any other camera when you're going to do a long exposure. And all you do then is you just simply take the shot, go into your Photos app, swipe up to reveal this effects browser, and then swipe over and tap long exposure there. And just like that, it will go ahead and process your long exposure. That's all there is to it. Pretty simple. So we've taken a couple of the long exposure photos with the iPhone. Is it as good as a DSLR? Of course not. Maybe. Uh, it's, it's tiny, it's pocket sized, it's got a lot going for it. If I just had nothing else on me, this is awesome. This is a great solution for me. I think for somebody who's getting into photography, this is gonna be an amazing tool for them. This is gonna allow you to, to basically replicate these shots that you take with very expensive cameras. No, it's not as good. No, I wouldn't take a shot like that on a cell phone and try to enlarge it and put it on the wall as art. But for the occasional snapshot and as a device that I'm gonna have with me all the time, incredible. One thing with the long exposure setting is I can't shoot raw. You're stuck with whatever the iPhone can process, which is a compressed format. Yes, I can shoot in Lightroom Mobile. The problem with Lightroom Mobile is it doesn't have the live photos, which means you can't do the long exposure part. And for some reason, Lightroom, I don't know if this is a hardware issue with the iPhone, I can only do a quarter second. That's not really slow enough to do the kind of shots I wanna do with a waterfall.
working in between cloud cover right now. Uh, I'm on the 70 to 200. Right now I'm zoomed out to 70 millimeters. I've got a nine stop ND filter on there and a polarizer to make this scene really contrasty. Because the first thing I saw when I got here, there's no lush greenery. Peak color for the leaves was several weeks ago and peak color this year was not very good. We didn't have enough rain. So uh, I kind of came down here with the intention today of doing more detail shots. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. And whenever I see this much contrast, the white water, the dark rock, I think black and white. fun little afternoon out here at Rutledge Falls. I hadn't been here before and it's very accessible and it's a nice little waterfall. The thing I really wanted to do today, of course, was to pit the iPhone 10 against the DSLR. Not really a fair competition, but I'd say that the iPhone 10 did pretty well considering that it is a smartphone and it fits in my pocket and goes with me everywhere I go. Um, there's a lot to be said for that. I think it's going to uh, really help inspire a whole new generation of photographers. Not this phone in particular, but just the advancement of technology uh, with mobile devices and how fast that's happening. I think we're gonna see a lot of exciting things coming down the pike, a lot of creative applications. That said, a lot of the stuff that they're doing with these new devices, like the fake bokeh portrait mode and the, the lighting mode and the, the all the, it's, it's okay, it's good. I think it may be a good transitional point for people to maybe get to the next level with their photography, but I don't think it's the end all be all. In my experience so far in testing this this week, there's no replacement for knowing light and composition and all these other things. And, and having a camera where you can change settings and make things your own and have a creative vision and execute on that with the settings you use is something that you just, you can sort of get there, but not quite yet. Uh, maybe that's gonna change. I'm sure things will change. So from Rutledge Falls, thank you very much. I'm Jeff Graham. If you enjoyed this and you'd like to see more about what I do, please check me out on my website, jeffgrahamphotography.com. Uh, I've got a blog on there. And of course, check out the rest of my YouTube channel. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what else you guys would like to see out there. And until next time, good luck and happy shooting. and then you go into the photo. Now, here's the trick, you gotta pull up. Okay, got some issues here. <laughs>